Hi guys, it's me, Seth. So I'm in P4, but um, I just think Dr. Simeons is a genius for one thing. Um, what other weight loss plan, life maintenance plan teaches you in these little rigorous P3, P4 little boot camps? Well, they're like practice sessions. I guess P2 is more like the boot camp, but the other two are like practice sessions of real life. And, um, you know, sometimes in P2, I went through a lot of emotional stuff, but I am going through a lot of emotional stuff in P4, P3, P4. And um, I think that we're we have to heal and we have to get to the root of our eating issues in order for this to really take, for this to really last, because otherwise we're just gonna go back to the old behaviors and they might look a little bit different, but they're still behaviors that need to be dealt with and they're symptoms of a problem. And so um, I was just having this really emotional moment with my husband, um, just, sitting with my smaller body on his lap, which happens a lot now because it's so much more comfortable that I'm not this big old, you know, 30 pounds more sitting on his lap. I'm 30 pounds less sitting on his lap, so it's more doable. Anyway, but, um, oh my goodness, there's just something about love and acceptance that, um, helps you to face what you need to face. And so having the unconditional love of my husband and being able to talk about um, issues that we face each and every day, you know, we face personalities each day, different types of personalities. And um, some personalities can really like trigger pain. And so when I have real controlling people in my life, it triggers pain from my past. Powerful, intimidating, controlling people trigger a lot of pain in me. And so that pain has to be dealt with. And so that's, you know, what I was doing this morning. And it's so emotional. But I think if we just keep stuffing that, it's we're not going to... Um, we're not going to get better. We're not going to be able to have success in these areas because, you know, maybe you conquer the eating thing, but then you become a shopping addict. Then you become an alcoholic. Then you become whatever, some other addiction, workaholic, whatever, because it's like you have to heal. You have to replace that pain with either health or, you know, I mean, I just, I just know that you have to heal. And so I just know that I need to heal, that P2 is not the answer, P3 is not the answer, P4 is not the answer, getting to the root of the problem is the answer. So I hope that all of us on this journey can find those answers, whether it's we're pleasure eaters, whether we're um, emotional eaters, whether we're stress eaters, whether we're we just, whether we have these deep roots that certain situations trigger pain that we're not even aware of. And so we just eat, you know, like almost without recognition of what the heck has just happened, you know. And so I hope we're able to find and pinpoint what just happened so that we can heal. So love you guys. Bye.